Uh, Lee from Brooklyn. Portia, I know you tried to settle your differences with Cynthia civilly on the boat, so why did you allow yourself to let the argument escalate? We've been calling each other like bitches all day. Back and forth, we were drinking, having a good time, and at the moment when we brought up best friend, it was kind of like a joke, and then I said it, and it hit her in a disrespectful way. That's how she took it. So I wanted her to understand, you know, hey, it's nothing like that. Hell, I was on the boat that day to support her. I acknowledge that I overreacted about the whole bitch thing. However, once I recognized that I'm getting a little turned, maybe had too many cocktails, and I walk away from the situation, in my opinion, it should have been the end of the situation. Well, I just want to say on um, Portia's behalf, when you left, mm -hmm. we did tell her to, well, you should talk to her. That wasn't the best idea in the world. Like, while y'all was still turned, we shouldn't have told her to do that. Rashawn from Bayshore, New York. Cynthia, when did you turn into such a thug? You're usually <laughs> the epitome of class and grace. Has hanging around this group of women made you more aggressive? If so, please go back to the old Cynthia we knew and loved. Okay, was it a question or just a read? It sounds like a comment. <laughs> Alfredo from Hebronville, Texas said, the three times physical altercations have happened, Pillow Talk, The Reunion, Lake Lanier, Kenya was involved. She's always instigating, Kenya, don't you think stirring the pot is just as dangerous as throwing the first punch? Uh, no, because I think that we all are adults, and I think that we should be able to always be in control of ourselves, no matter what someone says to you. As long as they don't put their hands on you, I think you should be able to control yourself. Sheree, you've had a few situations escalate. We can't forget the infamous wig pull between you and Kim. You have no class. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, you don't. No, you don't. Get your f hands off of me, you bitch. Mm -mm. No, Andy. Okay. It was a wig shift. Okay, it was a wig <laughs> shift. You better shift wig. It was a little crooked. It was a little thug. It, it was a little crooked, so I just kind of straightened well, it out for okay. her. But let's be clear, if I really want to pull Kim's wig off, I could have. At the time, they were, she wasn't tacking it down or gluing it down. She's talking about the other Kim. Kim. Not you, Kim. So sad. What was your reaction when you saw what was going on in the boat? I was stunned. I was shocked. Like, we've usually fought with our words, so I do understand what uh, Kenya's saying there. So I never thought anything like that would happen. Kim, what was your reaction to the whole thing? Oh, my. Right. It kind of happened so fast. You cried, remember? I cried after the fact. I've never been in front of anything like this before. I couldn't agree more. Uh, I just turned 49 years old, and I've never been in a physical altercation with anyone in my life. And it is an isolated incident that will never happen again because that's not what I do. That's right. Um, people that have known me for a long time, it's just not going to happen. I didn't even know we was fighting until it was over. Candy, who did you think was to blame? I think they both were, were to blame. Obviously, I felt like you took it I overreacted. Way, yeah, you overreacted. I definitely overreacted. But um, I understood, like, when you guys were over on the other side of the boat and she st stood up and straddled you, I would have kicked her too. Sorry. Yeah. It's once again personal space. Well, yeah, it is. But at that moment, it happened so fast. But, okay, so Cynthia likes to talk with her hands. So then I did it back to her. She didn't like it. She caught my wrist. And after my wrist was caught, that's when I got up. You were right, also but let me say this. But okay, but wait a minute. No, no, let me say this. Let me say this as well. I don't think you had any intention to come over to straddle over me. And I didn't plan on getting kicked, no. Right, after the straddle. You know, after the hand grab. I mean, well, we're being I was. Uh, now. Well, just okay. Just it's give always me, somebody give me, else's fault. Give me a fault. second because. Oh, will you I'm hush? Not, well, listen. All listen. your little side comments. If you want to say something, can you please yeah. say it? I'm not even interested in the blame game. But I will say, after I removed myself from the situation and laid down, I don't think I was in a threatening position at any point. So with that said, being in the middle of a situation where you and Kenya, you know, went from like one to a hundred and something did happen. You are a slut sitting up here you trying to act You are a dumb cosh. Yeah, you want to no. You know, because we were like popping up. You were saying all kind of stuff. I was saying all kind of stuff. The whole time I'm thinking, no, I'm not going to be laying down when you have the advantage. Well, that's true, too, but my hand was grabbed. But why did I grab in. your hand, Portia? I, and I do take full responsibility for my part in it. I wish it had never we happened. We both do. Right, at all. But if we're going to go, you know, what motion caused this and that, it ended and in a way that we were going to she grabbed your hand because your hands were in her face. You're right, so it's, it's hard like, to be it's close one to thing. I think right. we've diagrammed kind of what... Yeah, but the point is, that's why I grabbed your hand. I'm not going to let you yeah. do this to my nose. What disturbed me was when she was sitting and Cynthia was walking away, she said, you don't want me to get up. 
because it's going to be something different if I get up. So what? You have threatened every girl on this stage. Can you no, shut up? No, that means, okay, if I get up, I'm going, I'm going to beat your ass. You threatened to punch me in my face. I just felt like, oh, here we go with this. These threatening. And she keeps bringing Andy back our incident here. one more time, Andy. Really? I mean, really. She has, can, uh, can we end our incident at the fact that she pulled a grown woman's chair out and leave it there? Please oh, don't well, let's get to the point of you beating please. up your assistant please. at the f finale. Please. Okay, let's talk please. about that. Well, let's talk about you on the one eyed African who's married. Something. Honey. Something. You let's not go there. Ooh, let's move on to the fact. Absolutely. Who is married, honey? He's a preacher, honey. The one eyed African. What? With his wife. Honey, you shut up. This girl is. One eye African. Time for you. I would lay all your facts on the damn floor. I Girl, what are it's you funny, talking right? about? It's funny, right? He has a patch on his eye. You were oh, in LA. Shut up. And yes, you were in a hotel with him. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yes, we don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Talk about you. Always doing something that gets to physical and fighting. And so do you. Don't Period. pull a grown woman's chair, you big bully. You, you've been <laughs> you're into big three bully. incidents now regarding violence. Three. You are the one with the problem. 